Hey, how's it going, everyone? Frogman here, back with some more Elden Ring. Uh, I'm going over here now to this place. See if I went here or not, because I do not remember. I remember seeing one of these, but I don't know if it was right here. Just gonna go ahead and skip that one for now. Um. Alright, some dudes waving flags. <laughs> You're calling your friend that's right in front of me. Oh, that's new. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, okay, I haven't been over here because it's a new grace point. It's another one of those churches. The like America churches. Oh, this is the Church of Vows. Okay, I needed something for this. Or not, I needed something for this, but uh, I could use some like some items here. Oh, and I put this right on top of this thing. <laughs> I could talk to. You got talk to this? What the hell? Hope, turtle. <laughs> You're tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? Nope. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church <coughs> holds in view the monuments of both houses the earth tree of the capital and the academy of rea lucaria oh was there something you needed you are free to show yourself around i would serve as your guide only my legs aren't what they used to be if you find anything of use you are free to take it with you unless perhaps you are in search of instruction in which case I will share all that I know. Sure. Oh, you have some sorcery. Magic glint blade. I could use that. And this that I cannot use. But I will be able to use once I uh, get my intelligence up that point that I said I was going to get it up. Okay, I could buy these things. Guess I'll buy them, why not? Oh, you had an incantation suit, dang it. Well, I think I have enough uh, runes in my pocket. Grants blessings to self and all nearby allies. Oh, okay. Might buy that. Oh, I could actually give you a prayer book. Oh, what have we here? Very well, let us both learn together. Heresy is not native to the world. It is but a contrivance. All things can be conjoined. Ooh. Oh yeah, I remember reading about these when I got that item. Um...
So is this like a better version of the... Is that incantation that I already have? Okay, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna get these. Do you so, so so any celestial dew? Mm -hmm. Then I would like to share my knowledge with you. Concerning the miracle of this Church of Vows, Radigan once cleansed himself with celestial dew, repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Renala. The order of the Erdri and the fate of the moon were conjoined, and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond, however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. Okay, so that's like the sin type of thing, right? My faith does not waver. The miracle rooted in these grounds will once again mend the world. And this time, its bounty will not be squandered. If you would be Elden Lord, tarnished, I hope that you too will share my faith. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan? Mm -hmm. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there, and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. <coughs> Hmm. This is just going to repeat that, right? That Lord Radigan harbored a secret. Oh, a no. famed sculptor of the Erdtree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. You know, it said a famed when he glimpsed and a All right, that's the end of that. You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. Grand Library. In the end, Lady Renala was left alone, cradling the amber egg Lord Radigan bequeathed her. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. You would do well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. To experience the miracle, kneel in the basin at the back and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Absolution will be yours. Any bond, no matter how strained or even severed, will be put to rights. To experience the mirror absolution. That's just repeated. Okay, let me see if I have enough runes here to get those things. Alright, that should be enough for one at least. Or. No, yeah. Well. So I need 400 more for that, 4,000.
thousand. The All right, there you go. Thank you, thank you. And oh yeah, I already got those. All right, well, thanks for that. I'm gonna test out those incantations right now. Uh, there's a chest here. Gold sewing needle. And golden tailoring tools. Can I give that to uh, Bach? Allows demigod garb alteration. solution so I guess that dude that I uh, killed to get um that lady's necklace back doesn't count as like sin or anything <laughs> uh, all right let me check out these incantations and then I'll go give Bach that needle and stuff let's see Okay, that's that's probably just a better version. Check it out and search of flame. This one's a little slower, much bigger though, and even bigger if you charge it. All right. And I could just hold that, right? Yep. <laughs> Alright, that's nice. Um, okay, so the one that I was using is 11. And this one's one per, like, tick or second or something. Um, could use this, see how much damage it does, instead of this one. Hmm, yeah, and I can't even really, uh, put on the... I mean, this one I had it on, but I couldn't really use it because I can't use it with uh, the weapon that I have in my right hand right now. Uh, no, what? Take that off. Let me see. Um, this takes 30 FP. Alright. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave the one that I had on. Where is it? That, that. And since I can't use any of the buffs, what should I put on? Could just put Lightning Spear on. Or Honed Bolt does a little bit less damage. I've tested these out. And yeah, this one does just a little bit less damage than this one. So I guess it... I guess it's fine if I put this one on too. Uh, Alright, now let me go to Bok. Where the hell is he again? At the beginning of this area. Uh, not there. There. Hello again, Bok. Bok the Seamster, at your service, Master. Ready to make adjustments to your garments. Oh, please. Wait. 
Is that thing already... Is it just automatic? I don't need to give it to him? Let me check over here. See if there's... No, it's the same stuff. Bok, this ready to make. Maybe I don't have anything that like needs that. Yeah, this stuff I already had. Like I was already able to remove the stuff from it. Yeah, maybe I don't have any. Uh, what the hell? Oh, you're that one lady, right? Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata. And I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? My eyesight has been weak since birth, you see. I can't tell which way I'm supposed to go next. But when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. Okay, never mind. This this isn't that one like lady I saw back uh, close to Castle Morn. Guess not. It kind of looks like her. Oh, many thanks to you. I do have some of these, I so I guess. The distant light once more. This is the lady I'm supposed to give indeed. those things to. May the blessing of the fingers be upon you. You are most kind indeed. May the blessing of the. F All right, I guess I'll see you later on. Uh, I do have like one more of those, don't I? Where are they? Yeah, I have one more. So, I guess the next time I meet her, I'll give her another one. If I meet her. Um, okay, so. Go back to the Church of Fowls. Alright. And. I guess let me go. Over there. Another minor Erd tree, huh? Gotta go down there. What the? What was shooting me? Is that one of those Viking dudes? Oh, I think they are. Dang it. I hate those dudes. Liam compound again. And do these have the same moveset? I didn't really see. Like, I remember I beat like one or two when I was going through here to get to the mausoleum compound. Yeah, I guess it's the same moveset as the ghost ones. That was a horrible time to do that. These things are freaking annoying.
And when they drop then beast bones. Don't you dare do that. America statue. Get up here. Another one of these dudes here. back over here with those things so did I not go this way then careful here because I don't have a shield now. It's the first time fighting one of these dudes without a shield. up there. What is that? That dude looks like headless or something. What's going on with this dude? Is this dude supposed to be a headless? <laughs> I don't know. Very weird. Bellum Highway. Okay, just gave me <laughs> name of two places. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's uh, the catacombs, though, not Bellum Highway. Uh, it's over here before I go in there. Can't do anything from here. I have to go up there somehow. I 
Oh, okay, there's death root here. Skeletons here. Uh, I do not mind switching to this actually for a little bit, and I guess I'll. I will put a buff on right now because this right here makes it so I get rid of them, right? In one shot, I don't have to like hit them again. Let me see. Yep. Nice. Again, here's the boss. Oh, that's what I heard. What's up with this dude? Why was that one glowing? Oh, there's some... Chalice dungeon action going on here. Go over here first. Stone sword key. It actually looked like it was going to be a illusory wall there. Uh, let's check out this axe. Rosas' summons. Oh, I think I remember seeing this in one of the trailers. This skill. seen that it's an interesting uh, skill there mm, no I, I think I'll just run to these things or never mind they have freaking um bows Nice. Headshot, nice. Okay, it probably is better if I just run to them. Do this again. Okay, so there's how many blades? Three? Yep, three. Okay. Arrows hitting. Oh crap. Okay, very freaking careful here. Oh, 
made up, guys. There we go. Crap. Didn't get it. Alright. Oh, hello there. Aw. Oh, I didn't hit you with the holy one. Alright, I guess I'll just two-hand it then. Make sure that I do hit him with the holy damage. What the hell is this? Oh, crabs. Crabs, I'll switch to this for a bit. How do I open this? Oh, I guess I gotta open from the other side. Skeleton. And you're just gonna toss those now. Alright. I don't actually have like any holy arrows or anything, huh? Uh, but you know what? what? Let me get this dude to stop throwing those at me so I could craft some items here. Do I have. Yes, I do. Holy water pots. But I need to use some of my regular fire pots to be able to make some of those. Um, where are they? Here they are. And I'm missing. <laughs> okay, there you go. Could I aim that if I take this out? Oh my gosh, really? Are you... I can't even hit you. Okay, I don't... Let me see. Ah. That might work. Let me see.
Oh yeah, that works. All right, but now I have to do it with the holy pots and uh, wait up. Maybe if I shoot it, I'll have enough time, like when it's resurrecting or whatever. Okay, eleven. way too high. Oh, it's gonna... Okay, no, it's not. Right there? Nope. Need to go higher. There you go. Nice. Uh, so how do I get over there? Is there like a... There has to be like a secret wall somewhere, no? Or, actually, wait up. I forgot about that freaking, um... No, never mind, never mind. So yeah, how the hell do I get over there? Oh, wait up. I think I know. I have to get on this. That's weird. <laughs> you have to do that. Nice. Burial watchdog. Statues, though. No secrets. Might as well just use the rest of these before I use that buff again. So there's two bosses in this place. Uh, put this away. Oh, down. I could summon D here. Makes sense, I guess. Oh, another black knife assassin, but this one has all his health. It's a really freaking small room. small room. <laughs> I 
I guess that works in my favor too. Can't really run away. Cerulean dagger and black knife print. That's a key. Mark of the Knight of the Black Knives Ritual. Hmm. That sounds important. Okay, so I could go back here. Uh, I'm not going to do that though because I could jump down over here. I'm not finished with this place yet. That's how you get to this side. My last paw on me. to the other boss area now. Oh yeah, and I never checked out the that other thing I got. I'm pretty sure it just gives me yeah, FP. Critical hits restore FP. Nice. Take that, thank you very much. Oh, nice. It's a good thing I used that. <laughs> Another one of these Bloodborne bosses. Can he? Calm down. Teleporting all over the place like that. Oh, there's a freaking... Shoot poison at me. Calm the hell down. Oh my gosh, I have to use the other... This right here. One hit from those. Nothing was done. Was not expecting that. Twin Sage Sorcerer Ashes. Cool. Okay, that one was way easier than the secret one. And there's that death root. Alright. I guess I'll finish this episode by... Uh, going to turn in that death root. It's all the way over here. Yep. And seeing if I get anything new from that. Hello again. Got another death root. of war now. Again, that was new 
dialogue too. Um, right, let me check it out over here to see what I can use it on. On every weapon. Sounds interesting. Let me try it out. Can't put on the torch. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Oh, and that thing has braggart's war. Roar. <laughs> Uh Oh wait. Oh no. Wait, what? When when did I get this? Oh, I I could just remove them from that and put it on this. Wait, have I even seen Braggart's Roar then? I swear I remember that name. Like did I have it on one of these other Weapons or something? Maybe I was thinking of another roar? Oh no, it's right here. It's on this uh, battle hammer. So what does that do on the fist? And let me... Okay, let me put this on... Uh, Cestus, Cestus, however the hell you say that. And I'll test that other... Ash of War on the Iron Ball, too. Alright, let's see. Here's this. And here's this. No, don't sit down and think again. Alright. So. What the hell? Why are you fighting me? What is going on? <laughs> I didn't even... Does this dude not like me attacking inside of that place or something? <laughs> uh... Should I fight that dude? Maybe I should leave... Let me see if I go to that, uh, the Church of Vows, if that will fix that. I don't know if it's something that I did, like if I, that, because I attacked in there, or because of that death root that I gave him. Come on, stop. Let me use my map. Let me see if this works. Well, this is still not letting me access my map all right well if you're not gonna let me do anything then might as well test out this skill <laughs> how far does that go i don't know why i missed the other one yeah i need to test that out that's that that's like that roar that uh that the bats do. And I still can't freaking access my map. That's stupid. Um, Alright, let me check out this. What's the difference? Oh, this one gives attack power, defense, and stamina recovery. Alright, yeah, because it seems to do the same... Combo, kind of. Same charge attack as uh, regular, like, Warcry, I think. And this thing is still going, the freaking music. You serious? That's dumb. <laughs> there you go. Alright, yeah, let me see... If that fixes anything. 
Where is it's over here? Yeah, that was weird that he just started attacking me there. He did do it after I hit right there. So that might have been why. I could have sworn that I had... No, I did. I attacked... Uh, like, I hit the wall to test out if there were, like, secret walls the first time I was there. And this dude's asleep. Let me see. Okay, I guess that dude just... <laughs> just uh, did that after I gave him the death root or something. Um... Alright, well, I guess I'll beat him next time. <laughs> I'll go back in there and try fighting him and see how that goes. Yeah, because I don't have enough time to fight him right now. Uh, <laughs> Alright, well, that's a, that's a very weird ending, but... Alright, everyone. I will see you all later.